around here, very quiet, very not necessarily boring, quite tranquil. It's nice in a way, but maybe someone of my age, they're after something more sort of louder, more busy. Were you born here? Uh, well, I was born in Kamalden Hospital, but that because that's the closest hospital. But yeah, I've lived here since I was born here. Yeah. And um, do you, think you see yourself leaving? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I, I left when I went to university, but yeah, it's, there's not much in the way of uh, a career here. It's, it's always nice to come back, but it's, in terms of job prospects, there's, there's not much here. Because you, you tell me you've got a degree in physics. Yeah. That's what, what, what sort of jobs would that be then? Well, something more technical, something involving maybe data science or just science in general electronics, computers, that sort of thing. And of course, there's, there'll be no such jobs in this vicinity for that. Is, is there nothing like that in farming? In, uh, well, I, <laughs> I'm not much of a farmer, really. But beyond a couple of chickens in the chicken shed, that's about it. But, but yeah, yeah the, I suppose there is jobs like that in farming, but yeah. What's your, what's your family's background then? Uh, they both come from, well, my, my Dad's from North Wales, he grew up on a farm there, but he didn't, he was, he didn't want the farm, so he moved down to South Wales, and he's a civil engineer, he was a civil engineer, now he's retired, and my, uh, my mum's uh, grew up in Scotland, and uh, she came down here to do sort of farm work, farm hand, that sort of thing, and she, she works in uh, Gethliard with the veterinary sort of college. I know, yeah. Yeah, that's her. There is kind of a theory about um, um, children of farmers not carrying on the farming tradition. Do you, do you know about that? Yeah, you see it a lot. The, it's not, you know, they have to sell the farm and because the children, they, they, they study or they're, they're not interested in, or it's not worth it anymore because there's not so much profit. For the, it's very hard work, isn't it? The amount of hours you have to put in and you don't really get that much back. Although there is a satisfaction in carrying it as an heirloom, I suppose, farm, wanting to continue it, but not to everyone's liking. Not like it used to be, I think. Do you see the, the, the demographic of the population changing in recent years? How do you, which demographic, well, how do you mean? I mean, um, incomers and uh, second homes. Yeah, you see, you see quite a lot of that. In, indigenous people, as it were, have nothing against people coming in from other parts of the UK, but you see sort of uh, older people moving here, is, or you know, they might come from London, they have a busy job, and then they come here to retire. That happens quite a lot. So, there's less maybe, as a result of that, there's less people my age here in the village. Does, does that, do, do people your age generally stay? If, if they, it, it would depend on what sort of job career they're doing. Lots of them do stay, especially if, if you've got, if you come from a farming background. I mean, like we, I mean, lots don't want the farm anymore, but lots do stay. They work on the farm or in other ways, but lots do move away. If they, if they go to university, they almost certainly move away after that as well. But you came back? Briefly, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, where, that's where my home is. And I, I will point out that you're, you're volunteering here, so it's, um you're not really settled as such then? Well, no, I had a couple of small jobs, but I, recently, I left a job about a month ago. I was in Hertfordshire, so I came back here for a bit before moving to Cardiff today or tomorrow. So, yeah. So, do you, do you think Cardiff is where you end up and spend your life? No, maybe not. It's just it was the closest large city. I sort of I thought I'd go there, see what goes on, <laughs> give it a go. Certainly more going on than here. With no disrespect to the place, but I've lived, no, no, I've, I've lived here 22 years, of, more or less. So I'm looking to move on. To be honest, when when you do leave, how will you look back and, upon this whole area? Well, you you always sort of miss it. There's certain parts of it that you miss, and you always want to come back, but not for too long. Maybe it becomes too sickly the sort of <laughs> the quietness, the tranquility. So it's it's nice in small doses. I'd say.